We need to be able to simplify on this problem. We cannot have imaginary numbers on the denominator as part of our answers. So I need to be able to simplify. I need to be able to multiply by something that's called the conjugate. The conjugate will allow us to get rid of the imaginary numbers. So I need to be able to not have an imaginary number on the denominator. I'm going to multiply by the conjugate, which is going to be in this case, the first number stays the same. The only thing that changes to the opposite is the imaginary. That will be a positive 5i. And what I do on the denominator, because I want the equation to be equivalent, the same value, I'm going to multiply on the numerator. So the 4 stays the same. The only thing that changes to the opposite is the imaginary section or the imaginary part. And you multiply by the same on the numerator as well. And then from here, we just multiply that. We just do the whole foil. Multiply the 2 times the 4 and the 2 times the 5i. Then we multiply the negative 3i times the 4 and the negative 3i times the 5. So let's do it underneath. 2 times 4 will give me an 8. 2 times 5i will give me 10i. Negative 3i times 4 is negative 12i. Negative 3i times 5i is negative 15i squared. Denominator. We're going to go through the same process. We're going to FOIL. Multiply the 4 by both. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5 is positive 20i. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20i. Negative 5 times positive 5i is negative 25i squared. Don't forget about your squares. Let's simplify the numerator first. We are going to combine like terms. Now, the i squared is negative 1. So, negative 15 times negative 1 is positive 15. Remember, the i squared is equal to negative 1. So, negative 1, i squared is negative 1, times a negative 15 becomes a positive 15. We're going to combine our like terms. 8 plus 15 will give me a 23. 10i minus 2i will give me a minus 2i. We're going to do the same thing on the denominator. The 20i and the negative 20i cancel. And that should happen every single time when you use the conjugate. Otherwise, you're doing something wrong. You probably change some of the signs incorrectly. i squared is negative 1. So negative 1 times a negative 25 will give me a positive 25. I'm going to combine the 16 and the positive 25 will give me a 41. And now you need to be able to separate your fractions. I need to separate my real part minus my imaginary part. And that will be my answer. 